What secrets do we have in the workshop this week? Spy for yourself and watch. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to the workshop where we are in the final stages or the finishing stages of the two miniatures from Tomorrow Dies Today. Um, these have been great and fantastic little miniatures to work on, um, even though they're even though they're metal, uh, they will chip on you if you're not too careful with them. You know, if you throw them around and stuff like that, it it will chip, but that's fine uh basically what we're going to do today is just complete a few little touch-ups here and there and these guys are ready to hit the board so we are going to try and do the uh the computer screens and just touch up any little residual details little paint mess ups you know just finessing it all right, so let's hop to it. Uh, first off, we're going to start with our scientist right here. And we are going to take a look at this. There's a little patch right on the very top of his head that I just want to address. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it. Right there. That snapped into focus for a second. But you can see it. Again, it's not very big. It's nothing too, too worrisome. But it's just those little details that you want to try and fix up. Smooth it out. There we are. You know what? As they do like to snap out of their brackets every now and then. I have decided. And it looks like this sculptor wanted at least some of the hand poking out of the uh, uh, poking out of the uh, the pocket. So I'm going to do that. I'm just going to do that, and we're not going to really do any highlighting or shading on these guys. These are just touch-ups. Try and get it done. You know, clean it up a little bit. This one might take a little bit more finessing. But there's a tiny dot of blue on his lab coat. going to tidy it up. There we go. And now moving on to the screen. Thank <laughs> you. 
I'm going to use an old technique that I've learned from Games Workshop a long, long time ago in a galaxy far away. Uh, wrong system, wrong game, wrong universe, wrong just everything. But it was kind of fun, wasn't it? Um, use. No. no. We're going to make it a green screen. Again, we're going to use Warboss Green. <laughs> Sorry for the, if I have the sniffles on you. And now we are going to paint a small section of the screen green. Kind of like that. And because I think the hacker is kind of looking at the same screen as the dock is, we're going to take the same green Do the best and neatest job. That you are able to. Gonna try and smooth it out. Let that dry for a second. Go back to the scientist. Add in as nice as possible. There we are. Now we're going to do what's called a gem effect on this, and what it's going to do is it's going to the gem effect is going to try and simulate glass. So what we're going to do. We're going to pick a deep, a deep.
sweet green. And a lighter green. And we're going to try and do a neat little effect here. We're going to take this deeper green and we're going to try kind of put it a lower part. Of the screen we're going to copy the same onto the computer screen of the hacker Take the brighter green. Which happened to be the same one. There we go. We're going to add we're going to add the same kind of crescent moon shape but it's going to be shorter. Then we're going to take some white, white. We are 
I'm going to add a small dot. the upper corner kind of like as a reflection you can kind of see how it sort of looks like a that sort of looks like a screen and now what we can do Put some squiggly lines and make it look like writing. You can do the same. On the hacker's computer again to kind of kind of give it a semblance of of writing. And honestly, that's just about it. For these two guys right here there's not much left that we can that we really need to do but I mean as you can see we've given given them kind of a, a look to them so, We've made the hacker sort of hackery looking. And the scientist. Looks like most scientists that I've seen in movies or televisions or, you know, Bond movies or whatever. You know, lab coat. Dark slacks or always constantly on a device of some kind so I pretty much figure these two do that I pretty much consider these two finished I think anyway uh, it's been again it's been actually great finally getting my hands on these on these miniatures um I've had a chance to actually play the game and it's it's actually a fun little fun game to play. Uh I wasn't the hacker or this guy, I was kind of the slick sort of bond fella, but who doesn't want to be that, right? Oh no, the game the game is fun. I really, really enjoyed it. Uh the miniatures I really did like. Um they're fairly well sculpted. The details, pretty decent on them. Uh, for a single, for you know, for a single piece metal miniature, yeah, they're good. I like them. All right, guys. Well, that's pretty much it for me for today, anyway. And uh, who knows what we're gonna have in the workshop next. All right, so in the meantime, stay safe, be safe, do everything that your, that your local government tells you to do, and uh, most of all,
paint safe. We'll see you next time in the workshop, all right?